Reggae interviews. Word sound power. This is DJ745 here at the Dublin studio, Beng here in Church Avenue in the heart of Brooklyn, New York, with one of our foundation singers. His career really took off around 1979, just at the start of the dancehall rubber dub era. A time when singers and DJs used to hold a mic on popular sound systems across Jamaica, riding over foundation rhythms like the Cuscus, the Real Rock and the Solomon rhythms. A warm welcome to Mr. Sammy Dreadlocks. Respect, greetings. It's great to meet the eye in person because we've been listening to your music for decades yeah. and it's great that we've made this connection. So we give thanks to you for giving up some of your time because time yes. is very precious. Yes, and I have a lot of time. So I'm here. You're here. Yeah, <laughs> Rastafari, yeah. yeah. Now, as, as one of the foundation singers, your musical journey has taken you from Greenwich Farm mm -hmm. all the way here to the United States of America. Mm -hmm. I feel that it's important for a lot of our younger viewers to learn who Sammy Dreadlocks is. Okay. That's the reason why we want to talk today, yeah. because we want to know about your start in your musical career. You've done so much in music, yeah. and I think it's important that future generations to know, to know and tell them all the business. Works. Exactly, okay, well, exactly. Uh, so, you know, Greenwich Farm is a good starting point, I feel, because that's where you were born and raised. No, I was really born in St. James, Montego Bay, you know. Okay. But a lot of people think, think I was born in Kingston because I lived I leave Montego Bay when I was like maybe seven, eight years old. Okay. So, like I migrated to town, so it's like a town. Like right now, this interview with me and you right now, saying that I'm a Montegoian, it's shocked to the world. Cause yeah. It's shocked to the world because everybody says Greenwich Farm and thing, but Strictly, my bird service ticket is St. James, St. James. Bay. Okay. <laughs> See, this, this, is, this is good because this is where we sometimes, you know, when with things like the internet and people writing and things, sometimes information mm -hmm. can get sort of like misconstrued. I know they say one at a time I'm the first British reggae artist from London and I laugh. I said, oh, that's so great. I said, that's even fun. I said, yes, I'm a British for Karma Jamaica. I'm born from 1954, so I'm, 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 I'm a British. You just, just, just don't have the papers. <laughs> so I was laughing. I said, yeah, but I never, I wasn't born in England. True. I was born in Jamaica. Jamaica. Okay. So the early the early part of your life up until around about seven or eight was in St. James. And then like many other artists, you made that trod into town, into, into town. Kingston. Young boy. Young. Kid. Because kid, when I mean kid, maybe seven, eight or eight or years old, as, a, as you're saying. And then the first time I, uh, I reached a place they call St. Joseph Road. Is in two miles. That's the first place okay. I live. When I know a, a, a little boy, I can remember St. Joseph Road, and I was there with my mom growing up, growing up with my mom, and then my mom left us to um, Walton Park Road, where I know um, Dillinger, Trinity, Al Campbell, the all these guys. You know what I mean? Ranking Joe because we all grew up at that time, and then still I, I didn't even know about singing those times. I never talk about thought about singing, but I was around the greats, and then never know I was around the greats. Them those artists, and then from Walton Park Road, my mom moved to in the, to into Jungle now. That's Strange Town, a place a Tenth Street. Now I meet up the Mighty Diamond. Then time they them no name no Mighty Diamonds. It was the Stabby. Bunny and Judge. Me and them used to like, not me and Judge, because I was in the next time, was like a police them time, but we in the ghetto, um, thing that my father used to own a grocery store in a trench town, so we used to go there and buy our little thing. Okay. Night time now at uh, um, 10th Street in a jungle now, we and Tabby, we used to gamble at night time under the light, play a Peter Pot. That time I don't know nothing about so when I ever sing it. <laughs> I never have the thought of that. I was liking football more. Okay. Yeah, football was my, my in thing because I had five brothers and five of them can play good, you know? Right, okay. Uh, yeah, and I was into that more now. So what happened now? My mom, my mom is always moving. Because Jamaica is not an easy thing in those times. As my mother 
hear something going on, she just ready to leave. To move. So right away she says she gonna move again now from trench down now. When she moved now, she go to a place called Rima. It's a place near Rima now, but it's not too far because you could walk. Rima is there, I just need, you know? Yep. So we moved to a place near Rima now because it was right here, trench down, I see him thing. And we don't know and leave a Rima till place start get wild again. Your mother and father, then time you're still young kids, still come here with your short pants. Then time they, and then my mother now, she removed now to Greenwich Farm. Right, okay. And this is where you now I'm going to get the, the spring from. Okay. So when I go to Greenwich Farm now, I meet up with um, Philip Fraser. Yes. Earl Zero. Um, the the uh, Rat Taylor. Taylor. Silver and White. Yep. Talk about all the artists them in farm. So what happened now? Farm and say what well, we love football was playing football and then all of a sudden I see them they like them bench me. Somebody said something wrong. Cause it's a crew. It's a crew. <laughs> it's a crew. So all of a sudden we just get benched like so well, me no good. We say alright, me not say nothing. We just say well you know, like me have to take up something still, but me still never but me know all of the greats. Me used to go to a China Summit. One of the greats we played by Mali there. Yeah. I used to go I'm house. China play and him then time they do him the beat, but him a great guy, him not gonna be great. Mm -hmm. And him play and listen to me and phrase and then Earl Z would have played the, 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 the bass or two of them a play and you know? And me did it and in a myself. In a myself. Me and Philip Fraser are friends here, me, but everybody I do that thing. But me not follow that. Well, where me live now is a place now named Fourth Street. I have a man there right beside me have some forklift. This is how I'm gonna go to Wharf now before I come back home transfer to the city. Okay. <laughs> so this man now have a forklift company right beside him. I have a couple forklift music. I got to work, but me there every day, me always a look, me like to see what's going on, to see if me can do the thing. So, no key on me, my yard is just cross the street, it's just me for those drive it come and them no want me touch it. Me say, but well, wait, that's how serious it is, and me did them, I wash the fat lift, me do everything but me can't drive. Me say, all right, but me still I learn. And one day now I go over there, wash the fat leaf, and I said, no, I have to drive it over this time. Because I can't wash the fat leaf and can't drive it over. And it just found me here, as though I had to talk to the TV, cross the street. Cross the street. Yeah. And I said, go up on the fat leaf, start it, drive it, go over there and park it. I do my thing, start growing, chill. I mean, the music there is still on. All right, and I mean, listen. Go off now. The man, the man looked at me and said, well, follow me, we go down a wharf. And I said, what are we going to do? He said, come with me, man. I'm going to go. Because I grew up now, I grew up now. I like 16, 17. Okay. Those time. Because I'm young. Me, I'm Still a... young, though. 16, yeah. 17, driving a forklift yeah, is a big I'm thing. I'm a young man. So when I go down there now, and I get on the forklift with him, I'm a wall on and I'm a drive. And I watch everything, what he's doing. When he take the forklift. I mean, I watch him. And then when it come to lunchtime, me can't see him come back. And the foreman is getting, he gonna knock the fuck off. I mean, I said to myself, I said, no, this fuck have to. Somebody will go up on the fuck. So you just jumped in? The first time I go up on the fuck, I go to the pallet, I joke everything up because. <laughs> <laughs> but, Calm down, and then now go and eat them from that day. My work, we right, get okay. my work from that day. Me never turn back from there. Me start drive fat lift now. But when me I drive fat lift now. Me live in Greenwich Farm. Cause farm me live me still around the musician mm -hmm. them. So I have a youth, a guy, a youth named Jah Bible. Yes. Cause roots tradition, labor, you're supposed to see that. Don Mays. Ah, Don Mays. He just passed away, you know. I know, I know. Yeah, man, my brethren, man. Um, so, Don Mays now, me see them, I walk, see them, I got a studio. I said, what am I going to do? 
That time Michael Prophet was around too. Yes. The whole of it. Michael Prophet, Lady and Little John, all of us. All man. Of us. Let me tell you. So this guy now come from fly down from London and say he want to do some um, music. So them say, well, alright, that time the big man, them to all these guys we're gonna do music before it's like Leroy Smart have to sing before me. Mm -hmm. All guys have to sing before because me just had to come and come in. <laughs> alright. Them say, well, alright, we're going over Channel One for the first day. The first day we go to Channel One, everybody lick them rhythm. That's how I never let it go come. I will never cause it's um it's thing they played, um Full old, soul syndicate them. Fully yeah, them play the tune. Yeah. Every time she now play with the band. All right now, so when them this shooter time, when it come to my time, shooter time done. It's about weird. That's when I said, well, where the hell I go on? I know. This is how me I come through the thing. All right, them say, all right, come. We are go back to studio tomorrow. Channel One, call the man him just come down from England and do the music. Say, all right, when we go to Channel One the next day, power cut. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so nothing. Nothing. Me not do nothing. So the man him say, all right, tomorrow. So when we go in high school, you know, the man him say, you know what happened? The first man we have worked today, Sammy. Because every time he come and something wrong, you know. <laughs> So you know what I'm about to work there, we say, all right. So it was um, Gladi, Pan Piena, Fulur, Pan Bass, Shina Simit, Pan Rhythm Guitar, Santa Davis, Pan Jump. So at the moment now, I could have sing an um, a original because that's the, because in them time there, you sing and the musician play behind you. So you, that's an original. That's original. But what happened, I didn't have this rhythm in my head already because that's what i was rehearsing uh, it's not to be the first good song where you know you re recite a thing mm. i've been <laughs> <laughs> so i've been reciting this tune and um but when i hear the rhythm now uh, uh my brother-in-law my sister uh, husband in love record and he used to buy every friday I just said, put film on the man, just buy a record and come home and play it. Because film song, when used to love us, um, where Briggy used to do it, um, Jalob. Jalob. Jalob was his sound. And me, I said, Jalob, because I never really at them time there, you know. But he was a Jalob man. And so one day, me and I played the tune, the rhythm. Toom, to, 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 some guys they sing a tune, man, must rhyme. I don't know if a rasses or some but a group. And them sing, pick up the pieces, don't show it. And I love that tune. When I hear that, I a about a bubble, it's a lovely song. So I say, you know, I'm um, one of the same rhythm. So when them say to me, say, so what you going to do? I say, you know, the rhythm goes up, boom, 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 and full goes up, boom, 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 boom. The speaker, the real something so boop the man say, What? So the man said, the China goes on now. Paranam paranam panana pam pum pam pum pam 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 in my dream first night really love her so rough again girl first tune and that was what 1978 yes, 79 78, 79 yeah. okay what i 70s may i sing from still but the first song for release and really voice like go on tape it was African girl. yeah what what sounds were you listening to back then because i think that before 1978 you were surrounded by people that you mentioned like rod taylor F um, philip fraser prince Allah. what were the sounds that you were as a youth you were really kind of like following at the time no well all right the music what i really love at those times i give it straight up it was the, the prince himself is it d brown was like my favorite when I mean like for, cause when I sing the African girl, everybody was saying is Dennis Brown because it sound like what I used to like I used to have um 
when he used to sing tune like What about the earth that ever been to? So you know how far me I come so I used to even the same um, Roman Stewart and think I even um, that, um, Nadine and um, the, the Junior Tucker I used to go stand up, they must sing long time I used to go and uh, watch them yep. sing when they must sing, I'll do it, but I'll maybe, 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 maybe be even older than them still. Yes. But I would have seen them was like a younger to me. Um, you know, but me figure that. I think I used to watch them. So it was like Dennis Brown. No, 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 sugar. I mean, I talk about back. You uh, can yeah, try to go back one the man time. And the group, Melodians, Eptones, Alton Ellis, Ken Boot, those are, those was, are the ones. Those was my. He was Heroes, then. Yeah. Because yeah. even Brent Dow, he was from Greenwich Farm, right? Yeah, yeah. I know Brent Dow. Oh, good, 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 from good. Back in the days. From back in the days, you know? So, and then what happened now, that tune, when the tune vice, we go to Tubbies. Uh, when you lay down the music on the big 24 track, you have to mix it down to a four hour or two. Then you carry it up at Tubby's now, because Tubby's have a scientist. Yes. Scientist have a little... <laughs> 18, 18 Dromley Avenue, yeah. Waterhouse. Yeah. So what happened now? We all go up there. It was Lady Anne, Lika John, me, Michael Prophet, Philip Fraser, uh, Leroy Smart, Bams, and, you know, already on the producer and things. So, you know, Everybody, everybody sing. Everybody sing them song. Mm. Philip Fraser, I will never let you know it was a slim smith, but him do it good over and call the rhythm. But the real them lick back the rhythm. Boom, 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 boom. It, it is a come back and just take off. Take off. Yep. Yeah, the, the Philip Fraser. So everybody sing. Philip, um, Michael sing. Leroy sing a tune name. Uh, Darling, still hang on. Mm. For the rhythm, that know? was on the same rhythm, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because, and also, yeah, what's it up? Because you know, Ruby has said that man had a big man, yep. and the man they had a big voice on the so When the man they come so and sing for your tune as a man, you're not supposed to move. But you don't know what me know. Me did this up because the rhythm wicked God. Him sing, darling, still hang on. And then Michael Prophet sing a tune, say, Superstar. Upon the rhythm. Yeah. Like me, I say, I wonder if I crowd them money, I try to crowd my thing. <laughs> as I look me I to myself. But you know what happened now? King Toby say, play back the tune, because you know, you just do your work, so you want to hear your work, them sound good, before you pay your money, so cause you come to do your work. Mm. So, they might listen all of the song, them. And it's when it comes to my song, Toby say, stop that song there. He said, play back that song there. And when the man play back the song, he look at the man and say, all of the song they sing, see the song yeah. Right, okay. So you're a Tubbs now. So where him name? You're the person that don't know him. Dan Mays said, Dan Mays said, Tubbs, him that don't know him now. So Tubbs said, I first him I sing. The man said, yeah, what? Like Tubbs just said, what do you mean? I first him I sing, the man said, yeah, man. The man said, I don't have no name, then Dan, you know, me just a picky. Mm. And everybody I call me Sammy, somebody I call me look up and know me for a long time, school days. I mean, just say, you know what um, Sammy Dread. Wow. So that's how the the, the birth of Sammy Dread that's as the entertainer the came about. Um, yes. Wow, wow. Right, that's so a King Tubbies okay. is the man say, see the tune there. Cause everybody vice, I be a big artist in everybody vice. Everybody say well that them are the man. Mm. But I Tubbies to make me know say, I mean he was the man. And the tune, go on. Because um, the tune made me come to New York City and it made me come to London, 19, I think, 82. Me and um, it made me, Lone Ranger, Tristan Palmer, Louis Lepke, and Tony Tuff. We come, that, I think, it's 82, uh, yeah, yeah, in a London. Because what happened now? If I'm not lying, I, I, I brother name um Maserati Ghana. It was an interview, something like that. Come to Jamaica, come do an interview. One long, long time with me when we just start to dread. And the, the song, I think them have a a, 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 a chart up with them called a hundred chart. I don't sure, but it did do good. My song, the African Girl, with Peter Rankin and General Lucky. Non-stop reggae. 
Well, General Lucky is my blood brother. Peter Rank is not a brother to me. Yeah, but that Peter, General Lucky is my blood brother. Mm -hmm. So it was the urban democracy. And the, you know the song. Mm -hmm. And then now the combination that I was with and Peter. So I still I do the little songs. Eh? I never know. So it, it's D Brown now. Make me know the song was so bad in London. And how me ever meet D Brown to really interact with him because more time you don't hear about artists, you go to a stage show, you can't do you see him. You don't even talk to him, but you see him. Yeah, you know him for 20 years, you ever interact with him yet because sometimes you don't even get to interact with him. Because he's dancing, he's gone. He's backstage and he's gone. Mm. So that's how I used to see him before I really get to interact with him now. How I interact with him now, man. My friend, it's a whole past story, you know. How we don't even tell you how really, really why I'm missing, you know. And Tabby made me really sick, you know. Okay. Tabby was the person that really Tabby encouraged you. What happened now? <laughs> I tell you, I, I too much story because I'm going to go on him. You know what I'm saying? When I'm there for me, and I go off and come back and they run the man before we go through the. It's like when I show how God is. One day, me hear this tune. I need a roof. I'm, the man said, you have a group, come out near the mighty diamond. Wicked in the man, listen to one of them. I said, what? Then time I'm not singing yet. I mm. said, mighty diamond. And now them time, you know, we don't even have a good TV, West Indian house TV, that's where I get no one thing. My mother never even, them, my house never like that till when we get the TV, you know, we get the TV at the right time when the mighty diamonds you now I will come on Power on Friday. And then when I'm in the house, you know, see them, I show you the thing, and then I bring up the face, yet, you know. And then it's when the man say, I need a roof. Oh, and the picture come up, my mom was right here. My mom slapped me by my mom. I said, Rah, slap, my mom, you know. <laughs> and she goes, up. <laughs> You know, see, I tell me that. And start naming out them to her. I said, You know, remember them? Me and them, and them when we had trench down, me and them used to cook dumpling, because we used to go look at the night time. Because mm. the thing that the next one, we just, the late second one, we died. Fit Mr. O. Fim used to sell the flour. We go get the flour, and I have a little youth named Busha. And he cook for me, and Tabby carried it, and play a Peter Pat world. So when I said to my mother, I said, you don't know who that? I said, yeah. I said, yeah. I said them that I'm then miss I was right there to her and I said. Then time I do my little um in her singing, but she don't know. And I just said to her, I said, watch me. Mom, I can make you see me. She see me like how you see me on the TV. I can make you, you see me right there well. before you die. And that's what happened. Mm. I made my mother see me on where it's at. Before she passed, that was okay. okay. Because you you mentioned a few minutes ago that you have a blood brother, General Lucky. Yeah. There's also an, there's also another brother, Bunny Domino. Well, that, yes, that's an right. Ex okay. Singer. Another. Singer. A lot of people don't know that. So me have an ex singer. I want to tell you, he was singing before me. Yes. But he, he, was, he was more. I think Calypso, right? Yeah. That got a lot of my friend in Mark. Was what kind of music do you say? More than Calypso. <laughs> I said, I was a college of my man, I was a two different. He said, No, I said, I was a bad man singer. And that's why the man loved me. He said, Yeah, he was, he was singing before me too. And, um, you know, and then, you know, he passed away. Then, look, I have an ex little brother now when he entered the Bible too, where he used to par with him. Barrington, I think Barrington leave him, bury him too when he passed away and I'm lost. So, you're so close. Because, what are them, you know? When me there, yeah, when me I really I get into the ghetto, you know, me, me have a um, me have a rover, because this is all me as a, a, a kid when me I grow up as a kid. You see, if me say a thing, and me say, be that like if you have that thing, to get that thing. Mm. When I was growing up, I used to you know some people, some white people, all they drive is rovers. They're the one that used to own butter and Vandel. Yes. One of them used to own Vandel, one I used, used to work uh, Butter. Well, one, my aunt used to work with one, and my mom used to work with one. Okay. So, right there, I was a kid, that was a long time. I mean, used to go there, I mean, used to see them drive, that's all they drive. Yeah. I mean, say, no, I mean, have to have one of these cars. And you know, say, I grow and come up with one of these cars. Yeah, come drive the 2000 TC Rover. Okay. A uh, little John used to fight for the front. Lady Anne used to fight for the front. Barn John, everybody wanted 
Yeah, everybody, yeah. That's all me see it. I mean, I say, car, anything me put me into. And then, me say, well, all right. The car, and the whole of them was me, then before me meet all, our uh, entry John Jalal, because I'm with, I think I'm with two songs I do before, for you know, because it was, you know, it was like you, is a producer, and my friend, when me tell you the part, Dan Mays, like him, I said, no, me can't have too much artists, and then came to have a whole heap of artists mm -hmm. in camp, you know. So like, man, I said, no, Flavor, just keep Savage Red, because me, me they have farm. Mm -hmm. But the sweetest thing now, I hate now, is like, as we said, the music business was nice. Because, oh, me get, me, as me, I said, now, with Dennis Brown, oh, me get, for, really, me, I go to the, the, the video shoot. And retirement road there on Maxwell Avenue. Yep. I'm going to see a car just. Bam! Yeah. All right, man. And when the car drive on, me and him said to the, somebody, I said, Flippo! Flippo! The time I didn't know I was Dennis Brown. I tell you, Joe, I never know that D Brown. When we hear him, I say, Fire! I start him calling that D Brown. He said, Fire to the brother. And the brother pull up, and then time they have a 50, a 150, and I'm up on the back of it. So he, 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 he said to him, say, fire, boy, you have a tune on you in England, you're going good enough. And the producer, tune, which tune that, because he did sing a tune here, mom, when I fall in love. He told him this thing over that, uh, and think that means. And he said, no, man, you have a tune on you, man, my favorite tune, man. That's what Dennis has said, no. but it can't come out with words. Yeah, I go to work. And then go say something like, girl, African girl, man. Man, say, oh, the body is true. Am I true? At that time, it's a it go on good. Now the echo. Echoes, charts. Yeah, it's a go on good. I mean, I know. So, me there. No, me not come here. That's the time I tell you. So, before me fly now, and come up now, and come to America now, me there now, one night like how me here talking now, I'm going to hear a man say, Sugar mine at a look for you. I say, sugar mine at? What do say, man? I when I look at sugar for you, yeah, sugar. Boy, they want you to England, you know? I say, England? For what? Tomorrow, tomorrow. Say, <laughs> <laughs> the story is long, man. Yeah, the yeah, story yeah. is long, Cause, man. Because after, after the, the first recordings you did with Don May, um, African Girl, also Never Take a Woman, I think that the, one of the next people that you worked with was actually Sugar, right? Yeah. For Black Roots. For Black, this one don't come to the launch, you know, because when we do the African girl, everybody has say, uh, uh, D, but man knows say, you know? So what happened? I man, Brian Tan Levy say, Sammy Curry go on, um, Joe Gibbs. Okay. Then we go to Joe Gibbs. So we got Joe Gibbs, a whole bunch of youth around there singing and them at, you know I hear that, 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 you know? So, I'm going there, I mean, a youth named Chuni. So it's Sammy come and know him, Greenwich Farm. So what happened? You know, because I hear me I sing like one tune, because one tune me have them time, I mean, I know two, three, four. Mm -hmm. So I say, what happened? You know, come sing a one tune for you, know? And I mean, I say, you know, to myself, I'm buying time and say, yeah, my dear Sammy, man. So, when I run some rhythm, and when he come to the one, we go, so, the Dennis Brown one is a tum, 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 And I say, I listen. I say, who for rhythm, man? I say, Dennis Brown, man, I sing. I never heard his bit. I say, yes, I feel rhythm, I want to sing, man. Every time I look in her face, and it just run where run a Joe Gibbs. Everybody has said, I wish artist this. Because I mean, I've gone out there, record us that thing, and then by, by the time I sing the song at the studio at Joe Gibbs, that's how fast Joe Gibbs was. By the time I reached down, 10 minutes, it was deer playing in the shop it's selling. Nice. This is the this is the big song called Dreadlocks Girl, right? Dreadlocks Girl, yeah. yeah. That that song when I reached down there, that song was the ever so weird. That's it. That's a technology. Barring that, you don't even know. Somebody carry the team come already. Once the tune bad, them some go there again. Then play an next rhythm and them I say. A mighty diamonds did for sing pan the rhythm and I say diamonds and I don't want to sing by anything big man them you know. and it was me and Lee Van Cliff. 
Yes. I tune in my princess. Come give me a loving girl. Bad tune too. Yep. Yeah, run away too. And right there so now, so everybody start. I went, some of you, some of you know. So when I was sugar, was my brethren. So sugar start, vice me. Then live by dance too. Yep. So I live by dancing I go to Oh, my little man, did I get the little one thing? <laughs> so this is songs like Morning Love for Limbo Thompson yeah, on the um, Mr. Basie rhythm. You give me a loving, I give you my loving. The whole bad song, man. Did you know that that song has been re released this year um, under a new title called Evening Love? Up in England, eh? Europe. I don't know. You don't know that? Okay, yeah. So um, they reworked that this year, just maybe a few months ago in 2024. Yeah. And it's titled Evening Love. It's on a, a label, I think it's from France, called Dub Quake Records, OBF. Yeah. Yeah. I thought, well, I, I, OBF, look for me, Sammy Dreadlocks. <laughs> I love that, but look for me. Oh, I tell you, yeah, that's okay, nice. So, yeah. That's nice when you can't have certain things on people restructured and certain okay, things. Exactly. Yes, I love yeah, that still, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah I yeah, like that. Yeah. Now, I think that Sugar Miner, he was, I think, very instrumental in the reversion of rhythms because he was the person that I think originally told Coxon that he can actually update his rhythm tracks and put new artists like people like I think Johnny Osborne um, and then you had obviously Sugar Minot and yeah. so many other people like Jennifer Laura around about yeah, 79, 1980, yeah, sure Freddie McGregor right. yeah. and um, a, lot, all, a lot of your big hits were all on these kind of like foundation rhythms the ones that started at Studio One, Treasure Isle a lot of artists like yourselves in the 1980s you kind of put your own stamp on them because um when 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 i, when I go um the the m16 whenever is a surprising song it's soldier you know soldier just passed away the, the, the wickedest engineer all right him that play a song a, a song named um echo vibration yes then time it was peter Rankin. And lucky was the DJ. Because in them time then Jamaica you got um Peter Rankin General look you have Michigan and Smiley, but they must the top DJ. Mm. Because uh, them have the tune. Mary, Mary comes in. Every other DJ have to see them like my top man. So him look at me and say, them time uh, me no know nothing about double it. But um Jadsbo, you also left country all the time and come and make we sing double it, but we never know. A dub we are singing. singing. Me right. never know. Say a dub. I know me know a dub. Cause me I call the song name. The man think me never have to sing no song name. Just sing the song and maybe a one man name. So he said to me, say, Sam, I want you give me a dub. Cause if I didn't know about dub, I would have sing about echo vibration. Mm. I never know nothing about it. But what happened now? Like two, three days ago, I was in encounter with the the police and the soldier like a week or three days ago I was in encounter with them down a farm so me never even have that in mind but what happened now when I go when him said that to me now and him say me for sing a dub for him and me I say sing dub me no know nothing about dub so him say alright me I'll play some rhythm so the first thing come me and me say I know the rhythm because I used to hear the rhythm. I never, me never, it's lately. Johnny has burned them and said, somebody did sing on the rhythm before. Cause I never hear nobody sing on the before. That was the Uniques, a song called Secretly, and you, Roy, had Scandal. Watch That's me, cool. man. You right, man. I mean, I say, but me, me never hear the lead. Me always I hear a musical thing called Scandal. Yep. And Johnny said, no, you have a vice sing on me. I said, what? So, that no true me or the thing. I mean, the uh, uh, scandal, musical thing called scandal. I mean, I say, this is a rhythm that you want to sing pun. <laughs> so, it's if the rhythm comes on. Da, da, da. No, what happened now before the rhythm player? Me comes on out. Me say, me, ne, me, me I set it up, up what me I said before. Me I say, no, me can't say to somebody. Me have to interview three people. Me have to say, bad boy. 
police and so that guy the tree the tree chop left. Chubble. Yeah, so so you see funny so you see funny comes up, bam and the rhythm goes up. Da 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 I'ma say, Lord of mercy done, one take. So if me didn't have it in you know and I sing about the song, me that call the song name. I never call the song name. One mistake in the song when nobody never knew until Johnny Ringo pointed it out. Okay. When Johnny Ringo said, I play one night, me I listen, I laughed till I week. Johnny Ringo pull up, it's like a little, you know, people will listen to him and say, you know, yeah, Sammy, I fire him going back way. And me I said, oh, when him say, me I fire the gun back way. He said, what do you mean, my father? The man said, you know, your man said, LSR. But if you say, yes, he laughed. Self loaded. The man I laughed till I was weak. He was the only man pointed out. The man said, you know, since I'm here, I fired a gun back with you. But the LSR, same SLR, because it, 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 we it don't, hits. nobody even talk about the L or the S. And then, the, I was, I was, Cracking up, man, I said, no, this guy is easy. And then what happened now? The song come to be an anthem. Because from I sing, Bad Boy Fire M16, that true no name scandal no more. M16. <laughs> so you, you were responsible for renaming that rhythm? I me rename that. Yep. Me make it name M16 from 1970. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man, then when me rename it now, one thing I go on, Lone Ranger say, hey, you think I alone, I'll take pizza. I hear my this, I am six. That's why Fim album come out. With the, you know, the album called Channel One, you know. Yeah. Then I know all around, and Dan Carlos, the whole area are roll. Because when, when I go um, at um, Waterhouse to Vice, you know, if Dan Carlos is there, we can't go Vice, you know. No oh, idea, man, because them man they secure the place for we. Yeah, we, we have to go to make sure that them man are there in a them time because I hope that them man live. And when we are leave, them man they can't make sure we are right. Mm -hmm. And so we used to do but the music now. I saw the music, so me do the M16 theme now. And him got the dance, mash up the dance. But it's a go on, but I never have that song. The sing cause I never have that song as a singing song when we go for sing. I never go for make no record. But what um, this song was a creeper. This song was it's like what I was singing in the middle of I didn't know when I sing. <laughs> <laughs> Till when it comes like because I'll do a come here, throw the youth and throw down the moms and come, just leave with truth and write in a just side. But most of them go to feet and me I tell them to go fire a gun. Mm -hmm. No, me say bad man and fire M16 police, man and fire AK 47 and soldier man and fire SLR. So me I say, don't deal with badness, my friend, deal with truth and write. Deal with truth and write in a just side. I say, you will live forever. That's so, <laughs> so tuna creepers up one day now. Sugar say, Sugar look at me, me don't have unit for a man. Sugar look at me and say, Sammy, why are you go up at the China man? There, you know, I say, You mean China man? I say, But do a joke, man. I say, Go up the man, they want you, you know. I say, Want me? I tell my advice, they want you know. I say, What? So when I go up there, I don't even sing. But I'm going to the room, I don't go see the man in my like them set me up. Man is a pint that tell me to round this up. And when I go on this up, I get two thousand. Uh, in a them time, the, the blood money just come out, the big money there. Eh? When them come in, that one had just come. I think I was 70 or 79 that money when it changed over there. That I just come. And I get two thousand out of that, them big in my pocket. Half in my pocket, so I don't even sing. And that time I, I got a grenade for him now. When I go to Greenwich Farm, I go to one place they call Corner Stone. Birch and Brown, that's a freedom song. We project, what about you, with Philip Fraser, too? Yeah. All right. I'm going to go up on the corner, I'm going to be you. So I'm rich now. So everybody, all right. And we did it. So I say, you know what? Um, I get this at, uh, money, huh? so you don't know what happened now. I get this money. But if I go back to the studio, you know, I forgot to finish this album, I'm supposed to get more money. I never get no more money, but that was all right still. Because mm. I go back to finish the album. So, go back the next day, you know, because I go sing, because this is how the songs them start get together, you know, come so. Me and Barry Brown was a, a nice brethren still, you know, I like him, and you see. 
Cause so long is Barry Brown, give me that topics. The okay. song, yeah, the song you hear me say, so long, Barry Brown, give me that topic. Cause you hear me sing and I say, Sammy Dread, no man, don't say so long. One lick for me say so long the tune go. Cause him here we me I sing, but it, uh, the tune me I sing, I so long, cause you see how <laughs> And we come to no bam, so we also advise now. I said, I want more, I get more money because that's the intention because I go down to rich. All right. Go up there now. In comes some of play a rhythm. The first in play a rhythm goes, Stop, stop, stand up, stand up. Vanity. Stand up, stand up. And I said, I said, and I said, I said, all right. Um, it's today, maybe for you. And tomorrow, maybe. Because them time of reality now, who had keep it his mouth, shall surely keep it his life. In this time, so you get the whole bad thing. And then, when the tune don't know, when the tune come up here, in this time, I said, well, we, oh, I'm on it. No, sure. <laughs> When, so, all of the songs them know me, I hear a sugar with the arm and they say, Oh, you never know a sugar with the arm and they tune them, call me vice, them single vice, and then when I hear a sugar, I sugar, and tune it up. Yep. And I have a tune with what's going on, a sugar, and tune it up. I say, what we weird, a sugar. So I say, all right, that go on now, some man start cut that now, sound and play about music and thing, no, and go up there again now, and he ain't play one rhythm goes on. Then time there, in a them time there, Bob Marley have a song named Three O'Clock, Road Black. And I say, they call me Sammy Tree, the last. And me no one. Da, 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 da. Up in Number one. <laughs> that was a massive song, and it still is because whenever that song gets played in any dance in England, yeah. it has murder. to get pulled up. Murder, yeah, murder. Man. Yeah, and then uh, runway, and then go back. I shoot the know one man. I said, they just finish up the the damn the Joe Gibbs. Me I say, me I, I may have done too much. Me have limb valley. Me have too much too man. Much me I say, what me really I gonna do now? But me still was farm. Me I stay away because the, re the reason why me I stay, me did respect John Joe for that. When John Joe looked on him and said, keep your artist, man, because me have my artist them already, because mm -hmm. I'm tired and the whole area is the same crew, you know. Okay. I could have John Joe large, volcano, you know. But him said, no, because them times none of them never have no big rhythm I put out, hustling, you know. And man, I didn't get the money and make rhythm, but John Joe now was just a quick, just a lucky guy. Yes. To find some music and find Barrington and leave it where I sing like a bird. And then come find one little man where I say, zoom, go, zoom, zoom, go, zoom. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, real history, real yeah. history. Yeah. So, so, so that's so, so you've kind of explained why you didn't really voice or record for Junja Laws yeah. because of what he'd said. But, yeah. but really, you, you were kind of like holding your own little corner. Yeah. And didn't really I, feel I the do, need to. I, I think I do two. I do a tune for him there. Dread, with me and um, John Holt. Yes. John Holt, they made up on the flip side. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, da 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 and and Jano said, You're the queen of the ghetto. So we are sure when we are singing them tune at the same time. So music is just it's just nice, man. Cause I made up on a lot of music where I made up on the flip side. Mm. Because most time most of the man them don't understand how the music business go. The music where more hype. That's the music you have to put on the number A one side. Your music can't get played. But when they flip over, they might buck up in you and say, but this tune is bad too. <laughs> yep. That, that happens so many times, even now to me, you know, you buy an album for one song yeah. and it's only when you kind of go through and study that album and then you think, 
I never knew about that song. I didn't hear that song before. Yeah, yeah. But then you kind of gravitate towards you that more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's something that I always hear, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. So, so Roadblock was a was a massive album, yeah. a big, big hit. I loved yeah. it. I remember the artwork on it really clearly yeah, in my head yeah, as well yeah. with yeah, the man, motorbike. Like, that them used to ride at three fifty seven, you know. Okay, okay. And them them draw me. I ride the bike and I bust down. So the album was a massive thing because I remember nineteen eighty. 84, 85, or uh, before that, Reggae Lounge. I was at Reggae Lounge in Manhattan. And um, a Chinese man come to me and say, You saw me, Dread? And I say, Yes. I say, Oh, you know. I say, I know your photo, man. You big in drop on me. I say, Yeah. So you and look on that, like about 30, 40 years, me and talk about. Yeah. So you must know. So, and music mm -hmm. will never die. But I'm always saying that music alone shall live. Mm -hmm. All the way we depart from here mm -hmm. are the music. So, you mentioned that you were here in the United States in 84, 85. What point did you actually move permanently from Jamaica to come and live here in the United all right. States? I come, all right, the first time I come here, I fly out there, I don't lie, I don't want to lie. I think I was 79. Okay, so quite early then? Yes, yeah, 79 to the 80. What happened, because I don't want to mix it up, because what happened, I come here before, go to England, come back, go to Jamaica, and come back. At, at, those, at the time schedule, I want to do it. I want to say if I'm right. I think I come here 90, because sometimes 79 to the 80, the era done, and it does flip in. So maybe I say 79, and maybe could be 80. You understand me? So I just want to correct. Then we left from there, um, come here. I've been here maybe for a month. I, I hear month the visa was extending when we were here before we get visa. Then after that, I fly to London. And remember, I know I spent one year in London before I come back here. I think I come back like maybe 82 to 83, somewhere in the land. But when I come, I go back to Jamaica and then I come back and then never go back to Jamaica. You've never been back to Jamaica since never, the Adhesion? No, in stand. 40 years? I never go back to Jamaica from those times. Wow. Carl is from 1981 then. I would say that. Okay. For, I would have said from 1981, August, September. 19th of September, 81. I would have said that because I always have that in my mind to say that's the time I come back. After me, when I, was, I go down. When I go, come here, go to England, come back from England, go back to Jamaica. I think it's that time yeah. I come back. And from that time, Never back. New York is the, is the home. New York. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I think... I travel all over the world. all over the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, you know, musically, I mean, you know, you've done so many so many recordings for people that we've just mentioned, like Sugar, Linville, mm -hmm. Black Solidarity, yeah. Channel One, Freedom Sounds. But then also you've done quite a lot of work here as well. So I'm thinking of people like Jalife, yeah. um, Sammy Dread is Mr. Music. Yeah. Um, that had a big, big set of singles, you know, things like... You had the tribute to Bob Marley, on, uh, Top of the Pops yeah. with Louis Lepke. You don't have to be yet. And you want to is in London that music making up? Really? Yeah. This is what I'm saying. All right. We're in London. You know London uh, because they didn't know. We're in London into as 12 o'clock TV gone. Signed the hell off. You don't so <laughs> I was surprised because in Jamaica, TV sign up. 12. I was surprised. I mean, I come to America 24 hours. I said, no, that's why we love people of America like that. Because <laughs> America was a place with no sleep. 24 hours, night and day. Me come to London now. When me up, 12 o'clock, me I watch the TV. Me see the TV. The man said, no TV at bedtime. Me said, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> so what happened now? Them used to have a commercial. Where they say, get jungle, get jungle fresh, peanut. That's what you see. So me and um, Lefki was watching the TV, and all of a sudden he just come up. I started to sing, You don't have to be a superstar to be girl on my show. Those are my lyrics. But he come in and say, Get jungle. Get jungle fresh, get jungle. I mean, I mean, I've back it up and said, be no, but on the TV. Right. We get it. <laughs> <laughs> on the TV, we get it off our land, Okay. That style. That style, yeah. Yeah. 
So I never knew that that album, the Sammy Dread is Mr. Music, was actually recorded in, in the UK, in London. London, wow. God, Easy Street. Yes. Really, all right. One night, me, Sugar, that's why you hear that, that, that song, we hear me sing, say, If me and me a dream have a misunderstanding, we talk it over. Because I don't know what the hell was going on with Sugar and Tuffy and Louie. I'm going to come in the same time I hear like them a hug. I'm going to just go to the rhythm drop. I'm just say, If me and me a dream had a misunderstanding we talk it to that's all that tune mm. <laughs> okay 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 and then one of the other things that you did while you once you'd established yourself here in new york the record store yeah, sammy dread international uh, 703 nasdan avenue okay yeah i established that store yeah it was it's a yes that time now you'd have um yeah, I know you heard about Superpower. Mm. It was right here. Yep. Right here. Right here. Yeah, and um, I have done one. Yes. Now we also trade music. Because what happened when we have my store, I used to get the most best set of father fives them in my store. Everybody gets it, but I always get it before. Because what happened when any Gregory New song? When his wife come in, June, June, she will always stop at my records to understand. So any new Gregory, you're always going to have it. Always going to have it. So. Right, okay, okay. <laughs> so me to have that little franchise, because I, mean, I was a friend like that, because yeah. she has sell her music them. When she come, me go take them, and she come back, get her money. Nice. So she always, yeah, ma'am. Because mm. when, me when me put out, um, um, sugar man had me put out that children, what's going on? She did sell a little for me in Jamaica, in Jamaica. yeah, because I did it on my label. Mm. And then I have a song with me and Prince Allah. When I have a song, I'm a man. I, I do the thing I like. Sugar, I do the harmonies I like. Sugar was that's more time right now. Wherever I sing, I don't sing unless I sing a sugar tune. Or either one or two. One or two. Yeah. Mm. I don't know what. Mm. Either I start with them or I end with them. And I do the same thing to Tony Brevet, Melodians. Because in them last stage of passing away, man, he was like this. Very close. If he was alive right now, he's not a writer, so someone else is listening to that. <laughs> <laughs> and dying from a dumb man, he's going to drink his <laughs> Mm. Yeah, well, well. One thing that I've sort of noticed, though, is that the, the quality of your voice has been maintained throughout all this time. Because, you know, even when I sort of look at songs that you released in the last few years, yeah. songs like Play Play, yeah. um, Almighty God, uh, Left With A Broken Heart. Play, 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 and you don't understand. And what happened now, I just said that. I can give you some of the concept of that, too. Some of the tune, them, you have to really do them and do the, the real pro. The real thing, master them right. Mm. See some of the tune them now. I'm here sing some little tune for a little man. He just go put it out. So him do him go sit down, man it and get the body and it because everything is just internet. Oh, Sammy Dread Vice, so him sing so well everything. But I just try to keep it in the concept of Interesting. something. Yeah, but yeah, it, it could be quality more better. Mm. I know you're listening. <laughs> I understand. I like that. Yep. So. And um, um, the tune where I sing about the Almighty God, we the one where I sing about Gregory and and the whole of them, and just a tribute. Mm. So the youth, I go because if the big man come to me and tell me about singing, I tell him go away. When the youth come to me and him say, Sammy, why you sing a song, you know? Maybe I don't have nothing pen out or nothing, but he want it. I know he can't pay me, but youth. I know where I come. So I said, put on the rhythm at me, yeah, and, me, and sometimes you hear some jazz, that's how it turned out. Yep. But him don't even work with it. Put it back down and say, make me listen to Sammy and say if everything right, because sometimes you can't change something, and sometimes something not right. Yep. Especially now with today's technology, <laughs> it's easier to, to fix and change things yeah. up, right? So, so sometimes you do a song and you think it right, it's not right. 
you have to go there and make sure everything is perfect because there's a tough music that's going right now because if it's not perfect, perfect people don't dance. You have to have the beat and the right, we have the right vice. Just as we said, it's the, the vice, as I say, it's like God make me have this vice to keep because it's like when, I'm, when I was in Jamaica, before I even come to America, I'm gonna tell my friend, it's like I was on my corner standing up because Chumi used to drive the fart lift. When Bob Marley do his um the one love party, but um thing, yeah. I was a fat lift driver. I was the man who put up all the blasted thing where you see the man them use and board and ply board to make the stage. Wow. I was the man who cause them time me drive, me come out road, me go me, my, my boss, if somebody wants to fall if a street, him that put on the plate for me and me gone because him know me can't do my thing. I was the man that do that. Then time there, I just had sing. Me never have no name. So when I meet, this is how I meet Bob. When I meet Bob the first time, you know, when I never meet Bob like know him and I'm friend, you know. I go to the show. And the man I have a bus on the grass. That must be Babylon by bus, whatever it name. So when I go, I go there and look in so and I say, Where's Bob? I want to meet this man. And them same outside uh, out there, you know, cause them in there smoke them guns at the right. They don't want to see nobody. You know, two walk up, you know. Can't see nobody, you know. The same day outside the man. And me take my little time you now, after myself, I'm here walk. I'm here walk. And when I walk, I go, that little man, I see. I'm going to go and say, I can't be like me, no, I'm about that. Mm. I'm a whole lot of vibes. That's why I never even talk three, four, five words. We just, yes, you just want to know just the man. Yeah. And I come to so now, bam, show done, go home. I'm at Greenwich Farm now, one day, you know. Me and my friend, you know, because my little crew just come now, you know, Sam Madrid, my name now, so, you know, I have a little crew behind you. I've been set up on the corner, so. And when I look at a fourth street, me there, you know, when I look, I see a, a, a V double. A yellow wheel, I think one of them made me used to drive in there. And it drive up. Him don't even open the door. He jump over it. Because him don't open the door, he just jump over it. And him have a butter pan in his hand. And when I look, I look on the youth, the man say, I bob that, you know. And the youth, them say, You don't know Bob Marley, man. You're an idiot. That them said to me, I said, I bob that, you hear them? No, I lie, I tell them. I said, I bob that, man. Me can't tell him that Bob because I meet him last fucking night, me not cut, because I'm a lover. Me meet, me see the man last night, so all look at him, he said, hey man, all right, I know him. So I say, all right, I know him. In Jamaica now, we just say, look, man, when we're young, you just walk around and beg a man a lunch money. You hear me now, me just say, well, I want to say, I know him. And me just walk around there. And when I walk around there, me just say, well, Bob, you have lunch money now. And him tell the man where I drive. Give him two hundred dollars. You see when we get my money and go everybody who I'm one of tell us about that. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great story. Yeah, and then I want to tell him like two months I was in Marka. And that's how I feel so this man I give me a powers because I get this money. Remember me there I stuck on this thing, you know. And for my interact with this man in like two months or whatever. I was in America. That's one night, no, not joking. Um a couple of years ago. Steve did have a show, I think, some place out of California. Um, I think Sprague did the show and, and determined some of that kind of history, you know? And me get the, 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 uh, preach, um, the time when I could have get for go, because I did get a pass. Sprague did make me get my pass and thing, and I go for go at the show. But you know, him security tight, you know? Mm. But my pass, when I get, me go, which part me can't touch him? We get a pass like that. But me know him did a big show. And we did a I got the backstage with him there and him out there sing. So when he come off a stage, I go to approach him, but I see two, three men I rush me like them I say, we are there, I just look on the two men and I say, we are there, you know who me. I mean, that savage that car, they don't know me, they just hear about me, they don't know me neither. I mean, that savage that say, I look, where I come down, but we had them say, we can't talk to the artist. But at first, when I come down, I don't go to him. He never really 
like him like like him, like him go so and give me a school face you know and me just determined to show him say rude boy me just I try for yell you say and for tell you say it look like a year father give me the vibes to come to America. Just that me want to tell him. If I try to run it on, cause I don't know now already. Mm. It never go so far. But that's what me I drive to show him. Yeah, yeah, and then when me say that to him, he smile. Me say, are you a father? Me, me get the wing fly out as Sammy Dredd, you know. Mm. And him smile and, you know. And uh, that's the only interrupt me by interrupt. Yeah. 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 So I just Rastafari. It's like everything yeah. just... Oh, me I tell you, me tell you them say about that, and come back and meet him and drive show him say, you know, cause me think say everything is mystical and, and miracle and spiritual, you know. Everything happens for a reason. I saw me move in my thing. Cause my mother used to tell me where me gonna be when me grow up, and I said no, mama, no, <laughs> yeah. Mm. Cause she said me no thing them to me, me can't see the thing them before it happen. Yeah. That's what she used to say to me. Yeah. Well, look, I really want to give thanks to you for sharing some of your history. I know that we're going to do a part two to this because there's still so much more that needs to be told as well. There's so much more that we could talk. And do a movie. Anytime you're ready. You have the number and everything, the book. May you sit down. I will do the book. Because a lot, I think. Yeah, sometimes you go in and do a book, you have to scrap a lot that you have to get a scrap yep. that book around. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, for, 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 from all the Reggae Interviews crew, I know that your, your fans are going to enjoy what listening to and watching the story that you're telling us today because it's a very powerful and an important story in terms of what you are doing and continue to do yeah, as Sammy Dredd. You're still doing the yeah, work, so the we give thanks. Yeah, man. Still, all of my fans them in London, Europe, you don't know. You, we know how to mix it up. Cause you know, you know, you have Piccadilly Circle and all them things there. I have all of them play the front line and all this. I big up all of the sound man. Them up there, everything for me. I love you know. I want to soon see me in London. I feel how we. I want to see me in London one of these days. Big up on yourself, Rastafari. I love you know. London. Enough respect, bless. Respect. Reggae interviews. Word sound power.